Hello Aries, come on in here. Welcome to your weekly reading. I'm Tiffany from Wasted Traditions. I read intuitively, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. I've already blessed my decks of cards. Let's go ahead and get started. We are going to pull a card from the Shaman's Dream Oracle and see the energies for you, Aries, for the week of March 10th through March 16th. Caterpillar, Opportunity, Aries. Beautiful. And let's get an Oracle card from the Starseed Oracle for you as well, Aries. Divine Spirit, give us the energies for Aries for this week. Do tell. Okay. The Cosmic Heart, Devotion, Potency, Make Your Life a Moving Prayer, Aries. All right, these are a beautiful combination to have. We'll start here with the Caterpillar, Opportunity, Aries. Opportunity is coming in for you, it looks like in this week. Um, so this opportunity can bring you security, a stronger foundation, um, stability, and work-life balance. So be mindful to keep your eyes and heart open for opportunities headed your way. And then we have the cosmic heart, devotion, potency, make your life a moving prayer, Aries. This is telling me to do things with intentionality, stay hopeful, stay faithful to the life you've built for yourself, right? Be devoted to the life you've des designed for yourself, Aries, okay? Let's get some tarot to clarify what Spirit is trying to share with you. Spirit, clarify caterpillar opportunity for Aries. Do tell. Aries, how has your week been? What golden opportunities have gotten in front of you most recently? Share that in the comments below. Although these readings are dated, they are still timeless and they are relevant for the viewers at the time they are watching. Uh, the messages and the insights that are shared in my videos, they're not constrained by time, Aries, okay? They offer guidance and advice that can be applicable to um, whenever someone is watching the video. The themes and energies in my videos addressed in the readings, they are universal and can resonate with viewers regardless of when these videos are recorded. So even if you're watching a video that was recorded some time ago, I want you to know that the messages are intended to offer guidance and support that is relevant to your current situation. Okay, Aries? So for Caterpillar, we have the hanged man and we have death and we're going to go through these and for the cosmic heart we have the ace of pentacles and the three of pentacles wow okay all right so with the hanged man the hanged man guides us to spirit is guiding you Okay, Aries, spirit is guiding you to have patience with opportunity that is coming towards you, right? Have patience with what's coming towards you. You might actually have an inkling that something grand is about to happen. And spirit is definitely telling you, yes, that something grand is about to happen for you, right? But have patience. Make sure that you get you have a good uh, grasp on what's going on in your life. You have a perspective that is relevant to the experiences you are currently dealing with, right? 
Also, Spirit is letting you know that the opportunity coming towards you is an opportunity for joy and creativity in your life. That is what I'm feeling for you with the hanged man. Be patient with this opportunity that is coming towards you, Aries. And then we have the death card for opportunity. What I'm feeling right now for you, Aries, is that something is ending and that's why this new opportunity is going to be presented to you. Something is ending and with endings, we have beginnings and their spirit is helping you to understand and to let you know that because whatever it is that is ending, there's an opportunity for you. So do not worry about that. Death and rebirth is a part of the cycles of life. Life, And now there's a death to something previous that has already served you. It's come to completion and the rebirth with this new opportunity spirit is letting you know. Okay, Aries. I feel like with this rebirth, it's going to be work related. It's, it's work related, whether you are an employee or you are an entrepreneur, this new opportunity that will be presenting itself to you will be work related. So have patience. Keep your eyes open, Aries. All right, we'll get some, you know what, let's go ahead and do that now. Spirit, clarify a little bit further for Aries, if you will, please. Okay. Nine of Swords. Okay, I'm feeling that this, this ending is coming and it's a necessary ending for you, Aries. It's been troubling you. Something on the job, something in your business. Maybe something in your in your business is not going the way you expected it to. And it's been, it's really been causing a lot of angst is what I'm getting. All right. It's causing a lot of mental anguish for you. And so therefore it must come to an end. It's no longer serving you well, Aries. Okay. So the opportunity is coming towards you because what is currently happening, the current energies it's not serving you well, right? And then we have the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is about discernment. It's about choices. It's about being aware and also about relying on your intuition, Aries, to, because everything that glitters isn't gold and you want to be mindful of that. What opportunities come before you and it might look like it's glittery, but everything that glitters ain't gold, okay? So use your discernment. Rely on your intuition, um, Aries. That's what I'm getting for you. A little bit more clarification, Divine Spirit, for our dear Aries. Some more clarification on this opportunity where something is ending and there's a new beginning, a new opportunity that requires Aries patience, relying on intuition, using discernment, and being relieved from this mental angst and the unrest, too many, and the unrest that is happening for Aries right now. Tell us, spirit. Six of Wands. Oh, that was two jumpers. We're going to take them. Okay. Okay, Aries. So the Six of Wands, this new opportunity 
will bring you recognition, um, award, acclaim. Okay, this is this is pointing in a very good direction for you. Okay, this is going to bring some harmony into your life so that, the, so that you're able to rest easy and alleviate the mental anguish that you currently are feeling, Aries. And then we have lovers and we also have the six of pentacles with this opportunity. This opportunity will present itself to you to be um a opportunity to give back because there is growth there is abundance coming toward you so that you are it's a give and take you are generous you are grateful for the opportunity the new opportunity and then with the lovers this is about balancing your emotion and your mental this is a partnership so this opportunity coming towards you could be presented as a partnership with uh someone or a group of people but again be mindful be discerning of who you decide to partner with aries again everything that glitters isn't gold okay all right thank you spirit so moving on to the cosmic heart devotion potency make your life a moving prayer and what we have here is the Ace of Pentacles for you, Aries. This is, again, this is pointing back to a new opportunity to bring in new business, new finances, okay? This is tying back to the Caterpillar Oracle card. It's a new beginning for you. Okay, Aries, a new beginning for you. This is also a new beginning to... Uh, create a life of deeper devotion toward your faith. Um, being sure to go within. This is this is also pointing to your individuality. I feel for you, Aries. Okay, independence. Having a life of devotion is an individual um, action. So I feel like this is an alignment with the cosmic heart. And then we have the three of pentacles. The three of pentacles is still, I'm still getting some type of teamwork for you. I'm getting some type of uh, improved creativity for you. Also, what I'm feeling is you will become more expressive in your devotional life. You will be more intentional in your devotional life, Aries. Let's see what else spirit can tell us. Give us more spirit. Do tell for Aries. Just new beginnings. Absolutely. Okay. Temperance. A lot of major big energy here. Temperance and the emperor. With temperance. Aries, you are being asked to balance, again, balance your emotion with your mental. Where where did I have that? <laughs> balancing your emotion with your mental. Maybe I just said it. It was, it was a part of what I was feeling. Balancing your emotion with your mental, Aries. Being sure to be in heart. Having the two work in harmony to work in your favor. Do things in moderation. Don't go too fast. Don't go too slow. Have patience. Again, going back to our hanged man. Have patience with what's happening. Have patience with the new opportunity in front of you. Um, this is, there's freedom. There's freedom for you in the new opportunity. There's freedom when you go deeper into your devotion. There is freedom when you are very intentional about the life you decide to live. And then you have the emperor. The emperor is the boss. The emperor is in control. And what I'm feeling for you is take back control. You have allowed too many people to make decisions for you um, when you are in control and the creator of your own destiny. The emperor is the leader and you are the leader of your own life, Aries. 
right? In the even in a group setting, be sure to work as a team, but continue to have your individuality and have control of what you are able to control and not let yourself be overwhelmed by things that are out of your control, even in a group setting, right? Divine Spirit, what else do we have for Aries? The Knight of Pentacles and the Sun. Aries, you are going to be way more than okay. Way more than okay. When you when you operate in a space of balance and moderation, Spirit is telling you you are operating at a steady pace. You are responsible for yourself. You are responsible for what's in your control, Aries, right? And you've worked, you're, you're working hard to create the life you want. And then we have the sun card for you, Aries. The sun card points to, yes, the sun, the sun card points to freedom, abundance, joy, vitality. You will feel better physically, Aries. You will feel better emotionally. You will have the joy that comes from the inside. This joy cannot be found externally. You're creating joy for yourself by having, making your life a moving prayer, intentional, speaking things that you want to see into your life. When you do this with consistency, responsibility at a steady pace, having patience, you come out on top. You come out in harmony. There is beauty in all of this for you. Take heed to what's in front of you, Aries. Keep your eyes and heart open for the opportunity coming towards you. You will be successful. You will have success, abundance, joy, and feel better all around. All right, Aries, if you made it this far to the end of the video, it was absolutely meant for you to hear this. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos that I have for you. I will see you soon. Until then, bye-bye.